Hey guys, what up? Alright, today I'm going to be showing you what will be the last installment in the CSGO Roulette website series. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the bot. So, what I'm going to do is just quickly go into that. Uh, the reason I did that is because I have some IPs of servers that um, I've been working on, as in like, for people. So, um, yeah. Um, if you guys want me to set up your server, it's for a full fresh, it's going to be $40. But for just personal help, like setting up certain bits, just $10. Alright. So now we can just log in. Hope that's the same password. I forgot the part. Right. It's been a while since I've made a tutorial. Anyway. So, uh, oh, sorry. I'm reading the wrong bit. All right. So what you want to do, first of all, um, right, obviously you want to turn on the VPS. Let's just check this out. I haven't checked it out in a, in a bit. Uh, fuck. I'm so bad at right. Alright, so where we left, uh, left off last time, we were here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And I don't think, alright, for now we don't have to. Alright, so basically what you want to do, you want to make a Steam account. So I've made mine. Um, you want to just go through Gmail. So you like to create a Gmail, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just, yeah, create a Gmail account. And now once you've created a Gmail account, you want to create a, a server. Uh, no, server uh, account on Steam. So... That's my login, so I'm gonna log into it. All right, so once you've logged into it, what you wanna do is, um, usually you wanna like make an API key, but um, because I haven't deposited any games or anything into this, you um, I can't do it. But what you wanna do, so what will happen here is that you wanna like, you'll say to put like your site name in, and then it'll, you click enter, and then it'll come up with an API key. For now, I'm not gonna do it, but later I will do it uh, well not for this tutorial because I don't see the name to deposit for this tutorial anyway so now what you want to do is go over to the link in the description and then or you can just go into a uh, thing and then type steam desktop authenticator and then it'll be the first one and then this is the steam desktop authenticator and uh, what you want to do with this you want to go down and click download here this button doesn't work the clone slash download so you want to click download here and once you've gotten this we just find it it should be in a file like this um, yeah so what, what I did was like I did um, slash create shortcut uh, right click and then create a shortcut and I just got that and I dragged it into here so it'll be more like easier anyway, so what you're gonna do now is you want to click on your desktop authenticator All right. When you first do it, what will happen here yeah, will be like, you come up with like three options. You want to click the last option that says like, I'm new and I want to set up my account for the first time or something like that. And then once you've done that, you will come to this. And what you want to do is click set up new account. And then you want to put like your password, uh, uh, one, I think it was, I'm not quite sure. Come on. Okay, so, alright, so, alright, so now you're up to here. What you want to do is put your uh, uh, your phone number. Wait. Obviously, guys, I'm gonna block this out. <laughs> alright, so now you get like a um a code that says like to like revoke it if like anything were to happen. So what I want you to do is just create like a a new text document. Right here, and then just write that code down. Uh, R one seven eight nine. Okay. So once you've done that, just click OK. And I got an, I got a message on my phone. So what you want to do is type that in. Four six two one eight one. Alright. So once you do that, uh, enter the revoke revocation. Uh, the fuck whatever it is the code just so they know you have it and then everything should be all good uh let me please write down the version good i say it again and there we go so now it's linked up to your uh desktop authenticator so that should be all good so now once you, what you want to do is so now what you want to do is you want to go over to your your main your website and you want to go php my admin and once you're in the PHP my admin, you just want to log into your PHP my admin. 
So you want to go CSGO, and then you want to go, uh, no, not users. You want to go bets, no, bets, bots, that's one. And then click edit. So here, the uh, this will be all the things for the bot. What you want to do is just open up the uh, SDA folder, and then you want to go to MA, what's this? Don't worry, that's just Steam. Send me another message. Anyway, so what you want to do is that you have multiple here. Wait, let me just find which one it is real quick. Alright, um, alright, so this one's the right one. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to type in your credentials. So, uh, uh, what was mine? CS XGO bot one password was Fraud Gaming. And then once you're in here, alright, so you go to here. So this is from the um the fucking hell the MA files. So that's where all that is. Um, in SCA, you want to go to MA files and then you want to open the one that has your Steam uh, ID. So what you want to do first of all, get that Steam ID, Control C, paste that shit in. Don't I? A lot of people they fucking editing this. Just who cares? Don't edit this. No one will say that. Just yeah, don't edit that. What you want to do for shared secret? Um, go up here, get that. And uh, for your identity secret, uh, where is that? Huh. All right, there it is. Right. Get that and put that in. And you should be all good. So you can click uh, go. All right, so that should be all good. Now what you want to do is go to your thing. Go cd slash ram slash bot. And then you want to go, alright, so this is what you want to do to start the, the script for your website forever. To go forever, oh wait, wait. In the last tutorial, I told you how to install forever wrong. So what you want to do first of all, go forever, inst um, npm install forever slash g. Alright. So then that will load. Alright, so once that, is, that has loaded, what you want to do is uh, forever start site.js and then forever start bot.js. Alright. Oh, wait, that won't work. You have to do bot.js1. Alright. So once you've done that, you should be able to go over to your site now. And it should be working. Alright, so that will be working. If you go to uh, uh, deposit, it will load your inventory, and then you can like put something in. Find my trade link. All right. So now you guys should be getting this um, error saying undefined. All right. Basically, in the um, description, I have a. Uh, a paste bin link I should have one and it will give you this uh, this code that you have to put into bot.js right? so uh, if you go home let's go here but right, I think it's bot.js or site.js I'm not quite sure I think it's bot.js all So, uh, I think it's the first one. Wait. Sorry, I'm just going to put it to the side so you guys don't get my passwords and stuff. Uh, Alright. I think it's the first one. Yeah, it's the first one. <sighs> Let me just find this real quick. Control F. Find next. Alright. So, what you want to do is... Uh, copy everything that I put into the description and then you want to get this and then you want to go all the way down to here and then you want to delete it and then control V and then that whole thing should be pasted in so click control S and once you cl click control S just upload that shit back Alright, let's upload it back. And what we can do is reload the site. Oh, uh, now what we have to do also. Uh, forever. St 
dot block dot js one. So it re refreshes it kind of. And then it's in this. Undefined. I think yeah, net now the undefined is just simply because I didn't um put the what's it called? How what, what is the name? The five dollars onto the account. So once you guys put the five dollars onto the account, it should just all be working perfectly. I didn't put five dollars because like I'm not gonna be using this account. Actually no, I probably will, but yeah. Anyway. So what you wanna do is put that and yeah, you should all be fine. If you have any problems after you put five dollars in the account, don't message me if you haven't put five dollars in the account. If you have any problems, just message me and uh, yeah, so we should be all good. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been the last tutorial. The next tutorial I'll be doing, um, set of tutorials, is going to be how to make a, a coin flip website, and then I'll be doing how to make a CSGO like surf website. So um, stay tuned. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was it was fun teaching you guys how to make a CSGO real website. And uh, bye. Peace out.